What's up everyone and welcome back to Pixelmon on Pocket Pixels. Welcome back to Munchcraft. It has been a pretty long while, hasn't it? But we're back finally once again. Hey look, there's a little Charmander and there's a Jolteon. This is awesome. It's been a while. The server's been updated once again. I actually haven't played this game since I moved to Illinois or Chicago area. I know I always say Chicago, but I'm not really in Chicago. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is it's been a long time without you, my friend, Pocket Pixels. But we are here and we are back for some more Pocket Pixels adventures. I don't know what the name of this series actually was. I think it was just Munchcraft. Pocket Pixels or Munchcraft Pixelmon or something like that. Um, but basically the series in which I take on all of the gyms in this server, our server. Let's check out what we were actually doing in a little bit of a recap instead of just running around the server. Let's go to the Pokemon Center and actually get things started. And as always, if you guys are excited for some more Pixelmon and would like this series to continue, make sure to leave a like. I know it's been a long time, guys, and I apologize again, but I feel like I've been saying sorry too much. So how about I just suck it up and just do it, which is actually how the last episode ended. I was screaming at a Magikarp saying just do it. So looks like right now I've got a Pidgeot that is dead in my party. I don't remember that at all. What is going on with all of these Pokemon here? Where the heck are the ones from my current playthrough? Oh my goodness, there's a lot of Pokemon uh, in all these boxes here. And today I guess we can go out and explore a little bit and uh, try and catch some new Pokemon as I think some of these actually people gifted me on the la last time we played which was I believe a live stream. Oh this Pokemon would actually be perfect for the gym but I do want to try to catch my own so thank you to everybody that sent in Pokemon. Look at this, look at how many there are. Woo hog! I've done so many playthroughs now on this server and we have all of the Pokemon from all the different ones. Apparently I've got something called my love for you for mad Madness, madness, uh, I love you too, buddy. I'm gonna put this away, though, in this chest here. What are these? Oh, oh! Are these making this? I, I don't know if that's how that works, but I just put a letter in there. I hope that doesn't break things. It might just break things, though, but I've got 13 Master Balls. I'm not sure where I got them from. I feel like we should go back home and see what else I've got. There's a Park Ball in here, a bunch of Ultra Balls, so actually, we're okay on balls because we're gonna go on a catching adventure so get your chain helmet on and let's get it going what are move tokens request move must be a move oh wait what so the next gym that we're taking on is flying type and today we're gonna get ready for that we've got our lucky egg there's no experience here but with the lucky egg it should be way more than enough to train up easily um, at least the last few episodes when we trained up, we used the Lucky Egg and it did some wonders. So, yeah. Uh, sorry, it's going to take a little bit again to get back into the groove of things. Uh, but there's a Cronaut level 49. I would go for that. Because I know it can at least learn like some Ice type moves and that would be good against the gym. So, our goal is I guess to get an Electric type and then maybe an Ice type for the gym. Um, because there are four Pokemon allowed. And right now we've got Ramen who might actually be pretty good in that. So let's give Ramen the Lucky Egg and maybe start training him up. Let me actually see what moves Ramen even has. Uh, looks like right now we've got Scald, Confusion, Headbutt. Uh, and I, I'm sure he can learn Ice Beam. So maybe we could go for that actually. I, I think that might be in the TM shop. Um, but we can at least try to find an Electric type to take into the gym instead of Wukong because even though the cap for the next gym is 35, or th sorry, 45, so Wukong will become an Infernape finally. Um, I'm not sure that he will be super duper help in the gym because he's going to be fighting type. I also don't know where in the server we can go to catch electric types though. Um, whoa. There's a lava over there and someone just sent me a shiny Geodude. What is going on here? What a shiny Geodude. Oh, it's a golden nugget. And someone sent me a Fampy too. What the heck, dude? So just standing around and playing the game, I just receive random Pokemon. That is pretty good. Apparently, we got to vote for Jeb, too. I don't know who Jeb is. I know he's one of the developers of Minecraft, but oh, I guess our Fampy doesn't like us, huh? Yeah, shiny Geodude. Looks like a golden nugget. Look at that, dude. Look at that Geodude. Look at that Geo butt too. Uh, I like how he actually emits the little sparkles like a shiny Pokemon, too. Uh, but let's hop down. Whoa, did I just... I thought I just died there, but forgot that I don't think falling damage or PvP in general is turned on. In the server because we are all about catching the mons here catching the pokemons the pit the pixel mons actually it looks like back at the spawn the teleporters that take you to the different gyms are back or at least they're functioning again because i don't think the last time we were here they were working out um so we'll choose one of these maybe there's an electric gym city this one is um i believe poison type 
There's the Flying Gym City, um, which is the one we're taking on, but which area do you think I would find Electric Types at? I would think that Electric Types would hide in, like, mountains, sort of, uh, so, hmm, Esquoid City, that seems lavish city. This was the big, big old place, so I think this might be a good area. Electric type Pokemon are usually in cities and cave kind of areas, at least in the usual games, you know, there's usually, I don't know actually, electric type Pokemon are found all over the place, but anyway, let's look around here. That is not a Pokemon, that's, that's a chicken. That is a chicken if I've ever seen one. What are you doing here, chicken? What are you- I guess he was here to give us some raw chicken. <laughs> I'll put that away from now, though, or for now. Someone else can pick up that chicken. I'm not a big fan of it. Oh, there's a... Hey, it's a Voltorb, actually. So, looks like I wasn't wrong about there being electric Pokemon in the city. Uh, but do we really want to go for a Voltorb? It's not too bad, but it's also not my preferred choice, you know. Drifloon, not electric. What is this here? Crazy James Mailbox. Whoa, are these houses that people made? Holy moly, look at this place. Majestic house owned by Crazy James. Dude, Crazy James made an awesome crazy house here. I'm not sure how these work. Like, do you buy land in these areas and then you can build whatever you want? That seems pretty awesome. Oh, a Lampant too. Oh, but it is level 48, so just a little bit too high for us. Mudkip house. Oh, I thought it actually looked like a Mudkip, but I guess it's at least using the colors of a Mudkip. Yeah, there's the... Kind of looks like a Mudkip's head. Um, like it's wearing a little Mudkid hat hat over the uh, the door. What the heck, dude? This place is awesome. I don't even... <laughs> Alright, this has got to be the best house of them all. Kipster's Dirt Awesome House. Alright, Kipster, you've outd outdone yourself with this one, man. You have gone above and beyond all expectations when making this house. And that is just... I got to commend you for that, buddy. Now, this looks pretty tempting. Want free stuff... Uh, you gotta hop down there. I guess our boy Slade is gonna hop down there for us. Come on, dude, go go down there. Go. Slade, come on, man. You gotta go down into get free stuff, dude. I thought you wanted free stuff, Slade. Why don't you go down? Alright, if you're not going to, then I will. Oh! Hey! I'm always watching. Oh. Um, I don't think there's anything down here, so I will... Oh, I, I can't get out of here either. Well, it's just you and me, buddy. Except, uh, I'm out of here. <laughs> so, we're gonna continue our search for electric Pokemon, um, in this city that we found. I think this is called Lavish City. It's definitely the biggest city we've seen so far. And it has a lot of, I guess, uh, user-created buildings, like people that play on the server. Which is very awesome. Check out this one. But there's no electric Pokemon. That's all I wanted. Where would you actually find electric Pokemon in the actual... Whoa, in the actual Pokemon games, right? Look at all these bell- What the heck? <laughs> a whole, like, congregation of bell sprouts just spawned out of nowhere. I'm not sure why, but maybe they'll lead us to some electric Pokemon. <gasps> there it is! It's Plusle! Alright, so not exactly what I was looking for, but you know what? I think this is gonna work out in the end, so, hmm, who's someone that can not one-shot Plusle? I think Ramen might do the job here, so Plusle, stop running away from me, Plusle, jeez! Oh my gosh, <laughs> this Plusle does not want to be a part of our party. Alright, there we go. Let's go for a Confusion. I think Scald might actually take it out in one hit, so don't want to go for that. Ooh, that did actually the perfect amount of damage, so hopefully he doesn't get a critical hit. And nice, exactly the right HP. Now we'll go for, hmm, I'm feeling the love ball. Let's go for a love ball. If that works out, then it does. If it doesn't work out, then uh, it's unfortunate. But I think it should work out, our lovey dubby ball. And will it do it? Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, well. <sighs> I tried to give you the love in plus hole, but I guess you don't want it. So let's go again. I think the three shake curse might actually be following me into Pixelmon. In my usual uh, playthroughs of Pokemon games, I get this thing called the three shake curse, which some of you might know about. Three shakes, and then the Pokeball breaks free, and whatever I was trying to catch breaks out. But will it happen here in Pixelmon as well? It looks like it won't this time. We have captured Plusle. Yeah, our party was full though, so it's in the PC. Anyway, that is the only electric type I found so far. It's not exactly what I was, uh, thinking of, but I think it might work out. Plusle is, you know, a Pokemon that I feel not many very people get to use, so might be a cool kind of underused Pokemon that, um, 
could prove to be... Oh, there's a secret lever here. And it doesn't do anything, but... Hmm. Oh. Well, I guess it did do something, huh? Sorry about that, buddy. I, I'm not sure what this lever does, actually, but... I just wanted to know if it actually led to anything. It looks like it did. Hey, here's a PC, so let's check it out. And, well... I guess not. Back into the laboratory we go, and by that I mean the computer PC here. Uh, so... I don't know where the Pokemon that we just caught went. I'm assuming to the last box. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. It's Plusle. All right, so we're going to put away Pampy and vote for Jeb. Make sure to vote for Jeb and whatever it is that we're voting for Jeb in. I'm not sure, but hmm, what should we nickname this little guy? Uh, how about we do nickname suggestions? So if you guys have any nickname suggestions for our newly captured Lovey Dovey Plusle, let me know in the comments and I will definitely do that by the next episode. But we do need to do some training for him. As you know, or as I said earlier, the level cap for the third gym is 45, and he's only at level 14, so we're going to have to do quite a lot of training. Whoa, <laughs> this guy's just teleported all the way over there. What is that in the top right corner? It says F. I'm pushing F and nothing's happening, so I'm not... What is, what is that actually? I don't know. There is a place that I am thinking of or that I had in mind that I haven't shown off here just yet, and it looks like, or to me at least, feels like it would be the perfect place to go train up Plusle. So why don't we go ahead and slash warp to M-O, which stands for Munching Orange. So we're gonna go there and check it out. It's stuck. It's the Shrine of Mo, or at least it's loading the Shrine of Mo. It seems to be, oh, there we go. There it is. It's the Shrine of Mo, Munching Orange. Apparently, this place has existed for quite a long time, and I checked it out in the last live stream, but unfortunately, I don't know where the second half of that video went. Um, I actually didn't know, but you can apparently battle this guy, and I think it would be pretty appropriate if we actually tried to battle ourselves, or I guess myself. Um, this sounds kind of weird. It is actually pretty weird now that I think about it, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna battle myself, okay? So however that sounds like or however weird that may sound it is what we're gonna be doing to train up this plus old. right now he's a little bit beat up though so i'm not too certain about it but i really do want to check out what kind of pokemon myself has how do you say that dude i feel like i'm in persona right now and i'm fighting my own shadow fabi is there too she's got uh weird blank eyes oh wait no her eyes though that's the brown part is the pupils i think and then this lighter part i think is the what is the area around the eye called uh, the iris? I, I don't know if that's actually what it's called. I'm not very smart, but we're gonna battle myself. Let's go. No. Oh, I guess my name isn't Munching Orange after all, guys. It's Null Colon. Anyway, we start off with a level 20 shiny Wukong. That is starting off with a bang, and I'm actually gonna have to get out of here because, hmm, you know what? Now that I think about it, it's only level 20, so maybe not the best, I or best, you know, training ever here, but Wukong is actually very close to evolving and oh wait can I oh why did I just switch out no I was about to check if our leveling is turned on or off because I'm pretty sure it's still turned off but I guess we'll find out we'll take out Wukong here and okay oh plus I'll gain a level Ooh, and learning spark too all right we're gonna go ahead and get rid of growl then um, but yeah it looks like can I run away no I can't run away from battles come on dude ah we got Dance Boy, also shiny, and we destroyed it. <laughs> we got Ramen out here, so maybe it mimics whatever... Oh, I guess it has the Pokemon that I used in the playthrough, huh? I guess it makes a little bit of sense now that I think about it. It's got all the Pokemon that we've used out so far. Here is Goggles. Oh, a shiny Trapinch. I don't think I've ever seen shiny Trapinch. That looks pretty dang cool. Huh. I don't know. It looks like it might be like a Grass-type Trapinch. And finally, the shiny Fabi. So I don't actually know if this is the last Pokemon or not. We're gonna take it out. Never mind. There's still Notch. Wait, are we fighting? Is Notch fighting Notch right now? Because I don't even see Notch. Unless it's a Murkrow and not a Honchkrow just yet. But I don't know where it went. The point is that EXP was actually not turned on during all of that there. Um, so I think I'm... What is he looking at? Wait, do I say what am I looking at? Who am I? What am I? That's it, dude. I'm going insane. I'm going to bust out of here real quick. I don't know what this item is. It looks like we can't break it with that. Oh, we can break it with this. Okay. I'm going to bust out of here, and I'm going to put all of this back, but 
I just, I need to get out of here. I need a breather because I got creeped out by, why is he staring at us? Why are you staring at me? Stop it. Um, I am actually pretty terrified right now. So we're going to go battle in the desert. We got some Diglets to take out. Oh, actually, you know what? For training up this puzzle, it might be a better idea to fight some uh, flying type Pokemon. He's got Spark now, which actually does some good damage. So um, we will see where I can find... Uh, what is this? Is this a hidden item? Whoa, I just found a sport ball. That was a hidden item. I was like, what is that shininess right there? But okay, well, we found a sport ball, whatever that is. I'm going to try throwing it at a random Pokemon like this uh, Drapion over here. He's looking like he wants a sport ball thrown at him. <gasps> what? Shinx is in this game. Oh my gosh. Dude, I didn't even know that Shinx was in this game. Well, now he's finally... Oh, did it just catch it? Just like, what the heck? Okay, I don't know what a sport ball is, but we just got a Shinx like nothing. So maybe we should use Shinx instead of Plusle because I actually really like Luxray and I haven't gotten a chance to use a Luxray in a very long time. So there it is. It's Shinx. It's only level 11 though, whereas Plusle is 14. Um, so I don't know now. Not just uh, help me out with coming up with nicknames for these Pokemon, but maybe you guys can also help me out with... Um, Choosing which one we should actually use, Shinx or Plusle. I'm actually very torn between the two because I love both of these Pokemon a lot. Uh, Plusle just because it's super cute. I don't know if I like Plusle or Minin more though. That is the ultimate debate actually. Look at all of these Growlithe. They are chilling in the savanna right now. They think they're actually Lion King. There's a house over there. Don't know whose house that might be, but I really like this uh, biome. I think this is one of the newer Minecraft biomes though. I say that now, they probably came out a long, long time ago um, and I just never really checked out the new versions of Minecraft. But um, since there are a bunch of Growlithe here, we might as well try to battle some of them. They are kind of low level though. I, I wanna go for something a little bit higher level than that. So I think I might actually train up Shinx instead. Just not against these Duck Trios. They will most likely kick our butt, so, hmm. Swap out to Wukong and still get our butt kicked because it's probably gonna go for a ground attack. Nope, Sucker Punch, that's kinda weird actually that it would go for that. Um, but if we do take out this Duck Trio now that we've turned on experience again, we should be able to get a level up off of it. And at level 36, not sure if you guys know, but our little buddy Wukong actually evolves. Oh wait. Uh, looks like I've been trolled because instead of Wukong, we're going to have Shinx evolving already. Okay, we just caught this guy and he's already going to be evolving. I guess it makes sense though. Shinx does evolve at a pretty early level and we caught it at 11. So now we've got ourselves a Luxio. Let's check him out. I love it. I love it. And I got the zoom in too. Oh, this model is actually really nice too. Look at its anime eyes. Wait, why is- Whoa, don't leave me, man. Why would you do that to me? Luxio, no, don't run away from me again. What the heck, bro? I've caught you and I want to love you and train you and make you into an awesome Lux Ray, but I guess he doesn't want the same. Um, so I'm gonna check again. Leveling is on, so I guess maybe Wukong just didn't get enough, enough experience from that Doug Trio. We'll try again with this one and see if this time around Wukong evolves or not. Um, oh, he's actually not at that much experience, so maybe that's why. He's maybe not even gaining enough to evolve. Oh my gosh, the sucker punch. Well, you know what? I got a mock punch for you, buddy. I think that... Does that override um, sucker punch? <gasps> there it is! Level 36! And again, I'm getting trolled by Luxio. He's learning bite this time. Oh my gosh, close combat is here. It is finally time to get rid of Ember, and it is also finally time for the double evolution in one episode, Monferno is going to be going into his final form. Oh my goodness, I've been waiting for so long. Monferno is my favorite Pokemon, but Infernape is the evolution of it. And that makes it... Uh, I don't really know what that makes it. It makes it the final evolution of my favorite Pokemon. But what I'm trying to say is, I really love Infernape too. And now, we have one. Why did the camera stop there? It's like on his side. What the... We can have two close combats? Pretty sure that's glitched out, so I'm not gonna do that, but it gave us the option to learn close combat twice, so I wonder what would have happened if we would have actually clicked, like, Mock Punch or Flame Wheel there. Would it have replaced one of those attacks, and then we would have had two slots with close combat? I'm not really sure about that, but let's check out Wukong in, uh, the flesh, in the, whatever, in the fire, in the flames. We carry on 
Here he is, because he gave us a weird side angle of it. But there it is from the front. Oh my gosh, Wukong, I'm just trying to have a nice look at you, dude. Just look at your model. You are a model. You're looking nice. Okay, this is getting a little weird. Anyway, let's go do some intense training to Luxio and or Plusle. Not sure which one, but I'm going to go find a forest to train them up in. And I also kind of need to heal up. So, let's go. I guess um, I will definitely do some more training in the next episode or by the next episode. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be ready to take on the Flying Gym. But as for now, I think that might be it. So, thank you all so much for watching. Leave your nickname suggestions for Luxio and Plusle down in the comments and also let me know which one of these two I should actually use in the upcoming gym. Skater Games is fighting the Snorlax. That Snorlax is gonna get beat up, dude. So just like that Snorlax, I'll see you all next time.